Okay, we're going to do two more truth trees. Um, the second one's going to be pretty interesting. Here's this first one, though, which will have a couple interesting things in it. We're going to start out on line one, and this is going to be a 12 line truth tree. So let's go there. It's a negation of a disjunction. It is not the case that not B or not C occur. Line 2, B occurs and either C or D fail. Either C fails or D fails. It's line 2. And line 3, it is not the case that C obtains and D fails. It is not the case that C obtains and D fails. And we can draw our line there, imaginary line. Those are our SM, our assumptions. And on line four, we're just going to take out line four and five. We're going to decompose our disjunction from line one. So line four, we go line one, comma, disjunction decomposition and what do we get when we disjoint or decompose that disjunction we distribute the negative we go negative negative B and negative negative C And then on line 6 and 7, we're going to go to line 2 and do an ampersand decomposition. So we've done that one. Line 6 and 7, we go to line 2 for an ampersand decomposition. So we get B from line 2. And we get not C or not D. Alright, and so we're done with that sentence. So then on line 8, we go B, on line we go 9, we go C. So line 8, we get B. Line 9, we get C. And where do those come from? Our B on line 8 comes from a tilde negation decomposition from line 4. So we're just taking that apart just to get it off our checklist. So we got B and we're re reiterating B, but we just have to make sure we get everything finished, everything done. Some people might leave this undone and the professor would take one point off that question because they think it's obvious and you don't need to reiterate, but they're just making the point here in the text that you have to reiterate even if, you know, you have to finish every sentence. You can't leave any a sentence as non-atomic or it's not a finished truth tree. They're just being sticklers. Uh, so we've got now we're down to line 9 and we're going to have to disjoint for line 10. We're going to have to go like this. Go to two separate lines now. And we get not C and not not D. And where did we get those from? Got them from line three tilde ampersand decomposition. So we took this apart now. The tilde ampersand decomposition gives us negative C and negative of negative D. Now we have C right there and negative C. So immediately we could close that line. We don't need to investigate any further possibilities through it. However, this line is still open, so we're going to investigate a further possibility. And first, in order to be thorough on line 11, we're just going to be go like that. D. We're going to be our tilde, tilde, 
from line 10. And now line 12, and we're done with this at this point. Because we only have one sentence left we had to take apart. We've done this one now, there, uh, and we've done this one from there. So we've got all of our atomic sentences but this one. So let's do that now. Negative C could occur, it says, or negative D could occur. And that's line 7, disjunction, decomposition. Now here we have negative D, and here we have D occurring, so that line is out. And we have negative C, and we have C occurring, so that line is out. So all three lines here are closed. Not an open line on this truth tree. So we know that there's something absolutely inconsistent in this statement up here. One more, and then we can begin the chapter exercises. Fun, fun. And then we'd be, of course, done with chapter, sec chapter 4, section 2. And then we can get dirty and nasty with, uh, we get to do conditionals after this. So we're just getting started. We're just getting some bare bones stuff on the table. So get this one. Tilde parenthesis parenthesis A disjunction 